The Book of First Chronicles, Chapter One. From Adam to Noah's sons, the descendants of Adam were Seth, Enosh, Kenan, Mahalalel, Jared, Enoch, Methuselah, Lamech, and Noah. The sons of Noah were Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Descendants of Japheth. The descendants of Japheth were Gomer, Magog, Madai, Javan, Tubal, Meshech, and Tiras. The descendants of Gomer were Ashkenaz, Riphath, and Togarma. The descendants of Javan were Elisha, Tarshish, Kittim, and Rodanim. Descendants of Ham. The descendants of Ham were Cush, Mizraim, Put, and Canaan. The descendants of Cush were Seba, Havala, Sabta, Raama, and Sabtika. The descendants of Raama were Sheba and Dedan. Cush was also the ancestor of Nimrod, who was the first heroic warrior on earth. Mizraim was the ancestor of the Ludites, Anamites, Lehabites, Naphtaites, Pathrasites, Cashelites, and the Kaphtorites, from whom the Philistines came. Canaan's oldest son was Sidon, the ancestor of the Sidonians. Canaan was also the ancestor of the Hittites, Jebusites, Amorites. Girgashites, Hivites, Arkites, Sinites, Arvadites, Zemarites, and Hamathites. Descendants of Shem. The descendants of Shem were Elam, Asher, Arphaxad, Lud, and Aram. The descendants of Aram were Uz, Hul, Gether, and Mash. Arphaxad was the father of Shelah. Shelah was the father of Eber. Eber had two sons. The first was named Pelag. Which means division. For during his lifetime, the people of the world were divided into different language groups. His brother's name was Joktan. Joktan was the ancestor of Elmodad, Shelef, Hazarmaveth, Jera, Hadaram, Uzal, Dikla, Obal, Abimael, Sheba, Ophir, Havila, and Jobab. All these were descendants of Joktan. So this is the family line descended from Shem. Our facts add Shela, Eber. Pelag, Ru, Sirug, Nahor, Tira, and Abram, later known as Abraham. Descendants of Abraham, the sons of Abraham were Isaac and Ishmael. These are their genealogical records. The sons of Ishmael were Nebaioth, the oldest, Kader, Adbeel, Mibsam, Mishma, Duma, Masa, Hadad, Tima, Jeter, Nafish, and Kedema. These were the sons of Ishmael. The sons of Ketura, Abraham's concubine, were Zimran, Jokshan, Medan, Midian, Ishbak, and Shua. The sons of Jokshan were Sheba and Dedan. The sons of Midian were Epha, Epher, Hanak, Abida, and Elda. All these were descendants of Abraham through his concubine Ketura. Descendants of Isaac, Abraham was the father of Isaac. The sons of Isaac were Esau and Israel, descendants of Esau. The sons of Esau were Eliphaz, Ruel, Jeush, Jalam, and Korah. The sons of Eliphaz were Teman, Omar, Zepho, Gatam, Kenaz, and Amalek, who was born to Timna. The sons of Ruel were Nahath, Zira, Shama, and Miza. Original peoples of Edom. The sons of Seir were Lotan, Shobal, Zibian, Ana, Dishan, Ezer, and Dishan. The sons of Lotan were Horai and Heman. Lotan's sister was named Timna. The sons of Shobal were Alvan, Manahath, Ebal, Shepho, and Onam. The sons of Zibian were Ea and Ana. The son of Ana was Dishan. The sons of Dishan were Hemdan, Eshban, Ithran, and Keran. The sons of Ezer were Bilhan, Zeavan, and Achan. The sons of Dishan were Uz and Aran. Rulers of Edom. These are the kings who ruled in Edom before there were kings in Israel. Bela, son of Beor, who ruled from his city of Dinhaba. When Bela died, Jobab, son of Zira from Basra, became king. When Jobab died, Husham from the land of the Temanites became king. When Husham died, Hadad son of Bedad became king and ruled from the city of Avith. He was the one who destroyed the Midianite army in the land of Moab. When Hadad died, Samla from the city of Masrekah became king.
When Samla died, Shul from the city of Rehoboth on the river became king. When Shul died, Baal-Hanan son of Akbor became king. When Baal-Hanan died, Hadad became king and ruled from the city of Pa. His wife was Mehedabel, the daughter of Matred and granddaughter of Mezeheb. Then Hadad died. The clan leaders of Edom were Timna, Alva, Jethith, Aholabema, Elah, Penan, Kenaz, Teman, Mibzar, Magdal, and Irim. These were the clan leaders of Edom. Chapter 2 Descendants of Israel The sons of Israel were Reuben, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Issachar, Zebulun, Dan, Joseph, Benjamin, Naphtali, Gad, and Asher. Descendants of Judah Judah had three sons from Bathsheba, a Canaanite woman. Their names were Ur, Onan, and Shelah. But the Lord saw that the oldest son, Ur, was a wicked man, so he killed him. Later Judah had twin sons from Tamar, his widowed daughter-in-law. Their names were Perez and Zerah. So Judah had five sons in all. The sons of Perez were Hezron and Hamul. The sons of Zerah were Zimri, Ethan, Heman, Calcol, and Darda, five in all. The son of Carmi, a descendant of Zimri, was Achan, who brought disaster on Israel by taking plunder that had been set apart for the Lord. The son of Ethan was Azariah. From Judah's grandson Hezron to David. The sons of Hezron were Jeremiel, Ram, and Caleb. Ram was the father of Aminadab. Aminadab was the father of Nashon, a leader of Judah. Nashon was the father of Solomon. Solomon was the father of Boaz. Boaz was the father of Obed. Obed was the father of Jesse. Jesse's first son was Eliab. His second was Abinadab. His third was Shimei. His fourth was Nethanel. His fifth was Radai. His sixth was Azam. And his seventh was David. Their sisters were named Zuriah and Abigail. Zuriah had three sons named Abishai, Joab, and Asahel. Abigail married a man named Jether, an Ishmaelite, and they had a son named Amasa. Other Descendants of Hezron Hezron's son Caleb had sons from his wife Azuba and from Jeriath. Her sons were named Jeshur, Shobab, and Arden. After Azuba died, Caleb married Ephrathah, and they had a son named Hur. Hur was the father of Uri. Uri was the father of Bezalel. When Hezron was sixty years old, he married Gilead's sister, the daughter of Maker. They had a son named Segub. Segub was the father of Jair, who ruled twenty-three towns in the land of Gilead. But Geshur and Aram captured the towns of Jair and also took Kenath and its sixty surrounding villages. All these were descendants of Maker, the father of Gilead. Soon after Hezron died in the town of Caleb Ephrathah, his wife Abijah gave birth to a son named Asher, the father of Tekoa. Descendants of Hezron's son, Jeremiel The sons of Jeremiel, the oldest son of Hezron, were Ram, the firstborn, Buna, Oren, Ozem, and Ahijah. Jeremiel had a second wife named Atara. She was the mother of Onam. The sons of Ram, the oldest son of Jeremiel, were Mez, Jamin, and Eker. The sons of Onam were Shimei and Jada. The sons of Shimei were Nadab and Abishur. The sons of Abishur and his wife Abihail were Aben and Molid. The sons of Nadab were Selid and Apaim. Selid died without children, but Apaim had a son named Ishai. The son of Ishai was Shishan. Shishan had a descendant named Ali. The sons of Jada, Shimei's brother, were Jether and Jonathan. Jether died without children, but Jonathan had two sons, named Peleth and Zaza. These were all descendants of Jeremiel. Shishan had no sons, though he did have daughters. He also had an Egyptian servant named Jara. Shishan gave one of his daughters to be the wife of Jara, and they had a son named Edai. Edai was the father of Nathan. Nathan was the father of Zabad. Zabad was the father of Ephlol. Ephlol was the father of Obed. Obed was the father of Jehu. Jehu was the father of Azariah. Azariah was the father of Helaz. Helaz was the father of Elisa. Elisa was the father of Sismai. Sismai was the father of Shalom. Shalom was the father of Jechamiah. Jechamiah was the father of Elishama.
descendants of Hezron's son Caleb. The descendants of Caleb, the brother of Jeremiel, included Mesha, the firstborn, who became the father of Ziph. Caleb's descendants also included the sons of Merisha, the father of Hebron. The sons of Hebron were Korah, Tapua, Rechem, and Shema. Shema was the father of Raham. Raham was the father of Jorkim. Rechem was the father of Shimei. The son of Shimei was Maon. Maon was the father of Bethzur. Caleb's concubine, Ephah, gave birth to Haran, Moza, and Gazes. Haran was the father of Gazes. The sons of Jada were Regum, Jotham, Gishan, Pelet, Ephah, and Sheaf. Another of Caleb's concubines, Maekah, gave birth to Sheber and Tirhana. She also gave birth to Sheaf, the father of Medmana, and Sheva, the father of Macbena and Gibeah. Caleb also had a daughter named Aksa. These were all descendants of Caleb. Descendants of Caleb's son, Hur. The sons of Hur, the oldest son of Caleb's wife, Ephrathah, were Shobol, the founder of kiriath Jerem, Salma, the founder of Bethlehem, and Heref, the founder of beth -Gader. The descendants of Shobal, the founder of kiriath Jerem, were Heroa, half the Manahathites, and the families of kiriath Jerem, the Ithrites, Puthites, Shumathites, and Mishraites, from whom came the people of Zorah and Eshtael. The descendants of Salma were the people of Bethlehem, the Netophathites, Atrobeth Joab, the other half of the Manahathites, the Zorites, and the families of scribes living at Jabez, the Tirathites, Shimeathites, and Sukathites. All these were Kenites who descended from Hamath, the father of the family of Rechab. Chapter 3 Descendants of David These are the sons of David who were born in Hebron. The oldest was Amnon, whose mother was Ahinoam from Jezreel. The second was Daniel, whose mother was Abigail from Carmel. The third was Absalom, whose mother was Maekah, the daughter of Talmai, king of Gesher. The fourth was Adonijah, whose mother was Haggith. The fifth was Shephatiah, whose mother was Abital. The sixth was Ithream, whose mother was Eglah, David's wife. These six sons were born to David in Hebron, where he reigned seven and a half years. Then David reigned another thirty-three years in Jerusalem. The sons born to David in Jerusalem included Shemua, Shobab, Nathan, and Solomon. Their mother was Bathsheba, the daughter of Amiel. David also had nine other sons, Ibhar, Elishua, Elpolet, Noga, Nephag, Jephiah, Elishama, Eliada, and Eliphalet. These were the sons of David, not including his sons born to his concubines. Their sister was named Tamar. Descendants of Solomon. The descendants of Solomon were Rehoboam, Abijah, Asa, Jehoshaphat, Jehoram, Ahaziah, Joash, Amaziah, Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, Hezekiah, Manasseh, Amon, and Josiah. The sons of Josiah were Johanan, the oldest, Jehoiakim, the second, Zedekiah, the third, and Jehoahaz, the fourth. The successors of Jehoiakim were his son Jehoiachin and his brother Zedekiah. Descendants of Jehoiachin The sons of Jehoiachin, who was taken prisoner by the Babylonians, were Shealtiel, Malkiram, Pedaiah, Shenazer, Jechamiah, Hoshama, and Nedabiah. The sons of Pedaiah were Zerubbabel and Shimei. The sons of Zerubbabel were Meshulam and Hananiah. Their sister was Shelemith. His five other sons were Hashubah, Ohel, Berechiah, Hezadiah, and Jushab Hesed. The sons of Hananiah were Pelatiah and Jeshaiah. Jeshaiah's son was Raphaiah. Raphaiah's son was Arnan. Arnan's son was Obadiah. Obadiah's son was Shechaniah. The descendants of Shechaniah were Shemaiah and his sons Hatush, Eagle, Beriah, Neriah, and Shaphat, six in all. The sons of Neriah were Elioenai, Hizkiah, and Ezrakam, three in all. The sons of Elioenai were Hodaviah, Eliashib, Peleah, Akub, Johanan, Delaiah, and Ananai, seven in all.